Fat autografting is the latest thing in, in, uh, in plastic surgery. We're using it all over the body. We've been grafting fat from one part of the body to another for years, but the techniques have improved remarkably in the past two or three years. The way we harvest the fat with specialized cannulas, the way we spin it down in centrifuge, and the way we inject it. So we use your own fat in facelifts to augment and, and fill in around the mouth because young people have more plumpness, not a lot of plumpness, but more plumpness. So in a, in a woman who's getting a facelift or a man, we might put some fat around the mouth in, in little, little streams just to plump up the area around the eyebrows, around the cheek, just to make it more plump, more vital looking. What's fascinating is that uh, the way we centrifuge it and prepare it it actually increases the number of stem cells. So we think this actually causes the skin to look better, and we have some evidence that it looks better a year and two years later than it would have otherwise. It's a little bit controversial, but we know there's a lot of stem cells in there. So there's been some plastic surgeons marketing stem cell facelifts, which I think is an overreach. But nonetheless, it's been a great uh, way to, to, uh, to increase the volume in the face, and the fat grafts stay better now, so we can plump up lips, we can add volume to the face in various areas. In breast reconstruction, and in some patients in breast augmentation, we're using fat grafts to the breasts. Only certain patients are candidates. If you're very, very slender, it's better just to put an implant in. But in fuller figured gals, sometimes we can do liposuction to the hips or the thighs and use that fatty tissue to augment the breast. It has to be done very carefully so that we don't mess up future mammograms, so it's done under the gland and subcutaneously and not in the gland but we can take a breast up a size or two just using fat autografting, and the fat stays. It, it, it lives and it does fine, it's your own tissue. Finally, people have heard about the Brazilian butt lift. Well, it's not really a lift per se as plastic surgeons would talk about it, it's rather fat grafting and putting it into the buttocks to create a rounder, fuller buttocks. And so again, you have to have enough fat someplace else to put it there. But if you've had some fat in your lower tummy and inner outer thighs and you wanna augment your buttocks, it's a great time to do it. We're liposuctioning anyway. We'll liposuction it with a particular kind of cannula, not our usual cannula. And then we inject it in a very, very special way so that the fat grafts take. And usually a lot of it takes, sometimes not all of it, and an occasional patient, maybe half of it, and we have to go back and do it again. But oftentimes we get a nice, nice result with autografting fat to the buttocks, to the breasts, and to the face. It's a nice procedure and it's all natural.